start executing in address 31. So wait a minute, let's, let's back up. So you implemented this in, in uh, FPGA? Right, so I took the IBM logic diagrams and made a gate-for-gate -gate implementation in FPGA, and I set it to operate at the speed of an 1130. So it, I wanted to, to recreate the experience of my youth, you know, with the first <laughs> computer. So I wanted it to be the right size and everything else. Right, that's awesome. So here, here we have this short, program starting at 31. It loads a minus one, adds a one to it, and then waits. And the reason I do this is because of the funny way arithmetic works in 1130. So we're going to step through this now. So here we are at 31. So at the first step, as soon as I release this button, it's going to bump the address to the next instruction. Then it gets the data and moves it over here. So now it knows it's the C, the, the load instruction. So we're in the instruction phase, now we go to the execute phase, and it pulled the minus one out of memory. It's gonna move it down to the accumulator. So now we've loaded minus one. Next instruction I'm fetching, that's the 80, which is an add. So it knows it's an add, so now it's gonna fetch the one. Move that down. Now we're gonna start addition. So the way this works is instead of having the carries go across, it really does an exclusive OR and then remembers the carries. So one and one is zero, remembers the carry. Right. So now it needs to do it again because there's carries. Each cycle. So it just keeps looping, stays in this seven step until there's no more carries. So as soon as this register goes to zero, boom, we're done. That's awesome. So, so an ad could take a variable length amount of time depending on the data. So this this one part is from a real 1130. All the rest I sort of manufactured with um, you know pouring the plastic, making the decals. Oh wow! Use the water jet to cut this. Got an old keyboard, put on new uh, keys to match the 1130. Um, sort of did layers of paint and lettering on the panel and all. That's awesome. But the one part was because my version, the modern switch I got doesn't match the angles of the IBM lettering. Uh -huh. Whereas this is a real one and it matches. That's cool. But I keep it around just to prove that it was a... Do you have the, F, where's the FPGA? So you, if you look around the back, I just made some wood panels this week. Because uh -oh. it had been a frame that I welded. But they're just wood panels for the show. Because it wasn't complete. So if you look around the back, you'll see the FPGA inside there. See, very funky in there. What kind of FPGA are you using? So this this is a, a Spartan 3E Xilinx on a Digilent Nexus 2 board. So it has a million gate equivalent. So I could implement everything to do with it, all 32K of memory and everything on board. That's awesome. 